Hey guys, welcome back to another Blender 2.8 tutorial. We're still looking at video editing in this series. And for this video, it's gonna be super short and super simple. And we're gonna look at making proxy files for your video files. Uh, this will make editing a lot easier if your system's slow. So let's get right into it. All right, so in the previous two tutorials, I already showed you how to open Blender, import a file, and how to cut, splice, and move things around. Uh, for this one, we're going to be doing the proxy like I just mentioned. So we'll bring a movie in, pick a short movie. It's about a five-minute clip or so. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, if I play this video at 100%, which I have it set to something else, so let me move that. Let me change that real quick. So if I play this at 100%, you're going to see how laggy it is, how slow Version it is. Blender, Blender 2. It's 8. very, very uh, slow. Look at the video editing port. Okay, so if I go back in here, click on my movie strip. And I'm going to scroll down here in this pane over here on the bottom right. I'm going to go to proxy and time code. I'm going to check it. And then you can pick either 25 or 50. 75 and 100% is kind of useless if you need to make proxies, because obviously if you need to make them, it's because your system's slow. So I can run at 50 or 25, it doesn't make any difference. If you run at 25, you're not gonna be able to see here in the viewport quite as clearly as you'd like, especially if you need some to do some detail editing. So I usually run at 50, uh, but I will run at 25 for this since I have the screen recording software running. So I'm gonna run 25%, and then I'm gonna go down here and click Rebuild Proxy and Timecode Indices. And when I click this, you see right here there's a loading or a, a progress screen or progress bar showing how long it's taking. It says it's going to take a minute and a half, which isn't too bad. It's about a six minute clip, five and a half, six minute clip. Um, really not bad at all. It's rebuilding it at 25%. While it's doing that, we can do some other things. We'll go up here to view right above the viewport and click properties. You can also click the shortcut code N. So if I click properties and then N just opens it and closes it. And then we're gonna go into the proxy. If you see it a little better here, it says proxy render size. So it's what it's how you'll see it in this viewport. So we set the proxy to 25%, so we need to view it at 25%. And as you can see right away, it pixelates my face. So that's how we're going to be viewing it, which isn't bad in this video because I kind of know what's already going to be in it and there's no detail. So we'll let that finish uh, progressing and then we'll I'll show you the, the result. Okay, now that it's done uh, building that proxy file, um, I can click around here just like normal, but as you can see, if I play it, it plays much, much uh, smoother. A new so, the, uh, the only other thing I have to say about proxy files, if you have two, two separate movies that you need to make proxy files for, we'll move this over, just cut it right there, and to do multiple files, you can either select by clicking, left clicking, holding shift and clicking the other one, or you can box select, which is hitting B on your keyboard, and then just dragging the box on your files. But if we select both of these, we can go back down to proxy and timecode. Now to do multiple files, you can't just hit rebuild proxy and timecode indices. You have to hit so set selected strip proxies. So click that, set it to 25, then hit rebuild proxy and timecode indices. Same thing, loading bar, progress, everything's good. I've already built these, so it won't build them again. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you build proxy uh, timecode indices, whatever you call them. I just call them proxy files. It might, makes it much, much easier to edit in Blender, as I would assume it does in any video editing software. Uh, so I hope this is helpful. I hope it makes your editing uh, process much more easy. And uh, I just want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.